What's up, YouTube? It's Coach Corey, and today we're going to cover some of the new features coming in the next Brawl Stars update. So today, specifically, we're going to cover the new user interface, which you're seeing right now. We're also going to cover Season End Gold, the gold you're going to get for total trophy milestones. Um, we're going to cover the upgrade system, We're going to how the, exactly that works. I'll show you guys some of that. I'll also show you the new shop, um, any new interfaces we're going to show, um, the new items in Brawl Boxes, all that stuff and probably some more as well. And then tomorrow we're gonna cover all the different special abilities that each brawler has, which is actually called star power. So I'll show you all the different star powers. I'll show you gameplay of all that and then I'll also show you some gameplay of Daryl. All right, so let's get into today's video. All right, so really quick before I get started, I just wanna clarify and point out that I am currently on the developer build. So that's what this little D symbol is in the bottom left-hand corner. That's not gonna be in the game. Another difference is in the top right hand corner it says players online for that's just a dev build feature that actually shows everyone online in the whole dev build that is not going to be in the game as well. Okay, so let's start out with a user interface. So what do you guys think? So this is the beginning pages where you're going to see all the different events. So I actually think it's pretty cool. I really like the new, uh, I don't know if you would call it logos, but for each event type, I think they got cool new artwork. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, you go over here, I think uh, the different brawler preview looks pretty slick. It's, you can easily tell the different rarities, you can tell how much power each brawler has, you can tell what you have unlocked, don't unlock. I actually like this a lot more, it's pretty slick. And then this is the new shop. Um, looks pretty much the same, the only real difference is you can now buy mythic boxes, so that's pretty cool. Now you guys might also be able to hear the new music playing in the background. I'm not quite sure which music I like better, but let me know what you guys think. Okay, so let's go over bands. So you, this is where you can see the online feature. This is pretty sweet. You can obviously see three people online out of 39. And then also you can see when they were last online. So this is a pretty cool feature. You can see, you know, different people online so many different hours ago, a day ago, two days ago. It's pretty specific, so I think that's definitely going to help with determining activity for bands. I think it's going to help a good amount in that regard. And if you want to see the new player profile, just click on your profile like before. And this is what it looks like. So it no longer shows your brawlers. It's, so you can't tell how high someone's brawlers are. I'm not entirely sure if I like that, but it could be a little better. I think one thing that's nice, so they did add two stats. So for the two new game modes, you can see, you know, what your best time was in both of those game modes by looking at your profile, or if you want to see someone else's best times, you can go to their profile and check out what they got. Okay, and if you want to see the new leaderboards, you just click on this leaderboard button in the top right hand corner, and this is what it looks like. It's pretty similar, it just looks a little bit nicer, honestly. It's easier to tell separating between each person, slightly different shade. You can switch to whatever locality you are, um, similar with bands. And then that's where you can see brawlers. You can scroll through and you can see each different brawler. That is definitely pretty sweet. That's actually really easy to see. So I definitely like that a lot. Really easy to keep on scrolling, go to whatever one you want. Now, one thing you've probably noticed is in the bottom left-hand corner, that is where you open brawl boxes. So if you have any gold, there's no longer a place that shows up and tells you exactly how much gold you have. You have to look at how many brawl boxes you can open. So each brawl box still costs the same. It's still 100 gold to open, and you get the gold same way in the events. And then in the bottom left-hand corner, it has a number showing you how many boxes you can open. That's basically another way of saying how much gold you have. So right now, I can op only open one box, and then I have an additional 34 gold going towards my next box. So right now, I really only have 134 gold. So if, for instance, if you have, you know, 939 gold, you're going to have a little 9 next to the Brawl Box, and then you're going to have 37 out of 100. Okay, so now I'm just going to run through the interface for the Brawlers really quick. So if you click on a Brawler, it's going to do the voice acting for whoever that Brawler has. So for instance, that's one of the Shelly ones. So as far as new voices, I'm pretty sure the only new voices are Nita and Piper. So for example... I like Nita's. Nita's is pretty cool. Let's try it again. Yeah, yeah that's pretty good. I like Nita's. And actually, I like Piper's too. <laughs> it totally fits her, I think, honestly. Sounds kind of, like, classic. Very prim. Bless your heart. Mm-hmm. 
So Piper's pretty cool. So there's two new voice actings. That's it, I think. And then I don't think there's any new skins, but if there, you can see the skins from this page pretty easily. So you can see, here's a skin. I will buy it. Why not? So there you go. It looks the same, right? So I don't think there's any new skins. So I'm a little disappointed about that, but you know, it's not a very important feature. I'm sure that'll come um, when they get time to do it. Okay, now let's go over the upgrade system. So, you can see here, I've already opened some Brawl Boxes, and at some point in the video, I'm gonna show some Brawl Box openings, but this is what my current brawler, Shelly, looks like right now. So you can see, my upgrades are pretty scattered right now. I actually haven't bought any upgrades with tokens yet. All I've done is open Brawl Boxes. So I opened about 100 different Brawl Boxes, and I got a good amount of upgrades. So actually, these upgrades drop pretty frequently, so you're actually gonna be able to get a good amount of these upgrades just by opening, you know, a decent to a small amount of boxes. I mean, I opened up about a hundred different boxes, and I got these brawlers, you know, maybe they're not that high, but some of them, for free, you know, I was just opening up brawl boxes, I haven't spent any tokens yet, I got selling them up to a decent level. So for instance, Shelly, I got, you know, five different pins, I got two different badges and I got one medal, so I think that's pretty good. Okay, so if you're curious how they work, each pin increases whatever that stat is, whether it's level one, two, or three, it doesn't matter. Each pin increases that stat by two and a half percent. So for example, Shelly, 80 health is two and a, is two and a half percent of her current base, base health, which is 3,200. And you can see that by clicking here, and that's how upgraded it is. You can click on each of these things, that tells you how upgraded that is. Now the super, Shelly Super's upgraded a ton because I was lucky and I got all these different super upgrades in my Brawl Box openings. So pins increase stats by 2.5%, which are these nine pins down below. And then there are six badges and those increase each stat by 5%. And then there are three medals and those increase each stat by 7.5%, right? And then there are also three of these things called crests. Now originally, I called them nitros, but they will be called crests. So each crest increases that stat by 10%. And they made it pretty nice. They put what, in my opinion, is the most important crest. For the most part, for most of these brawlers, they made the most important crest is the first crest that you'll get. So that's pretty cool. So you're gonna get the most important one first. It's not gonna be so important to be highly upgraded as far as getting the better crest. And then once you have all those, then you can unlock the star power. Okay, so now let's go through the total cost in tokens that it's going to be to max a brawler. So each pin costs 20 tokens. Now each badge, now, and it doesn't matter what level, whether it's one, two, or three, each pin is gonna cost 20 tokens. So look, I'll buy this one, and the next one is still 20. So each badge is gonna cost 50 tokens, and then each medal is gonna cost 120, and then each crest is gonna cost 300 tokens and each star power is going to cost 700 tokens so in total the amount of tokens is going to take you to max out one brawler is going to cost 2440 tokens now don't get upset because you actually get a good amount of tokens from brawl boxes i'll go over exactly what you can get in brawl boxes in just a little bit okay so this is what a fully maxed brawler looks like when you have everything unlocked so for each brawler, all of the pins, badges, and medals are gonna look the exact same. They're gonna have the same looking medals. They're gonna have different upgrades. It's gonna be a little bit different stat upgrades, but it's gonna be the same percentage, right? And then for each crest, it seems like each brawler actually has a different looking crest, so it's sort of suited to how that brawler looks. It's supposed to be specific for that brawler. And then the star part thing is just an icon and it looks the same for everyone. And then one thing you may be wondering is what this thing in the top right hand corner is. It has a little lightning bolt and it says 50. That is power. That's essentially, so you know how before when you ended a match and it showed the elixir count for each person. So now when you end a match, it shows the power of each brawler. So power is determined. Each pin adds one power. Each badge adds two. Each medal adds three. Each crest adds four. And each star power adds eight. So when you add up all those together, that's how you get to 50. So that's how you can sort of determine how maxed out a brawler is when you face them. Okay, and so now I'll go over the new game rooms. So this is what it looks like. It looks pretty nice. So there's a lot of similar things like before you can advertise to the band, and this time when you advertise to the band, it shows up right there in this little game room area. So if you take that away, it goes away. It's no longer there. If you advertise to the band, that's where people are gonna see people advertising for any group. 
So if you click on, there's a little button down the bottom right hand corner, you can see a game room button. You can see all the available game rooms in your band. So if any of your bandmates have a game room up and they're looking for some people to play, it's gonna show up here. So you can just easily see what event type they're trying to get people to play and who created the band room and how many people are in it, etc. stuff like that. So you can change easily what game type you want to play just in top left hand corner you can just press and all the available maps are going to show up. Now there's not a third one because the third one is showdown so you can't create a game room for showdown. Right you can for friendly battle showdown but not for any regular showdown. So that's where you can easily switch between game modes so to switch easily and then everyone who's in your room stays in your room. It's very easy it's very nice. And then you can also easily see how much gold you have left to get in each event another good ad. And same as before, if you want to copy the game room, you just click on it twice. So then now it's copied to the clipboard and then you can copy it to any chat you want to share it in. If you want to share it to specific people only and not just your band, for instance. Now, if you want to go to friendly battles, you just go back to the area where you change the event type and then you go over to the right and click on friendly and then you can choose any of the maps you want, right? You can do any single map. These are all the maps. So one thing you may notice is that there's no new maps. I know I'm kind of sad about that personally, but it wasn't a big deal. They do have new maps for the new game modes, obviously. So let's just go through what this looks like. So if you want to create a friendly battle, you just click on any room, right? And then you can share, you can advertise it to the band and then people can join in your game room from the friendly battle. They can go right from the band into your friendly battle. And that's how you can fill this up. And then of course you can also do showdown and that looks a little bit different. So the one thing with showdown is you won't notice this until other people are in your friendly battle game room but you can't actually see what brawler the other people in your game room are using for showdown friendly battles. Now that's a great ad. I'm really glad they do that. That way there's not people trying to game, you know, based on what other people are using. You sort of have to surprise people. You're not sure what other people are going to be using. They could be trolling you. They could be very serious. Who really knows? So there's good news and bad news. So let's start out with the good news. The good news is that now at different total trophy milestones, we get a gold reward. So I'm going to put a chart up that shows exactly what those milestones are. There are 40 different ranks is what they're called. And when you reach that rank, you get a gold bonus. And depending on what rank it is, it can be a bonus of anything from 50 gold all the way up to 200 gold. And if you have the coin booster on, it will give you an extra 50% of that bonus. Okay, so just as an example, as far as how much gold you're going to get as soon as the update hits based on your total trophies. So if you're at 4,000 trophies, combining all the rank up bonuses, you will get 1,750 gold. Now, if you also have the coin booster, which gives you another 50%, you can get 2,625 gold. So that's not bad. Now, depending on what rank you are, that determines how much gold you get at the end of the season for your season end reward. Now this is the bad news. The season end reward is a good amount lower than what it was before. So now you no longer get a reward for your individual highest brawler. You only get a reward based on your total trophies and the total amount is a bit lower. So the maximum amount you can get for season end reward is 430 but i'm pretty sure the coin booster affects it as well so in reality you can get up to 645 gold from the season end reward now another thing you're probably wondering if trophies are any different no trophies are still the same if your brawlers are over 500 at the end of the season all the trophies that are over 500 will reset halfway same way as before it's the exact same now one thing I'm not quite sure about is after your trophies reset, I'm not sure if you can re-get those gold milestones. So for instance, if you're at like 11k trophies and then after the reset you're you know right under 9,000 and then you push back above 9,000, can you still get the 9,000 reward and 10,000 reward? I'm leaning towards no, you can't get those twice. I'm assuming they're one-time rewards, but I'm not actually sure. Okay, so as far as the items you can get in Brawl Boxes, you can of course get the upgrades like I was talking about. You can get pins, badges, and medals. And I think pins are common, badges are rare, and then medals are super rare. I think it's something like that. And then crests are somewhere above that. And then specials are even more rare as well. Specials are probably something like a legendary rarity. And then of course you can get the coin booster and coin doubler, same as before. 
And then as far as tokens, you can get 10 tokens, you can get 20 tokens, 40, 80, and 160. Those are the amount of tokens you can get from Brawl Boxes. Now, one thing that's pretty cool is how you get the tickets for the new events. So for the tickets, they're bonuses. They're for free, essentially. So whenever you open a Brawl Box, you have an a certain chance of getting a ticket on top of whatever you are getting so it doesn't take extra boxes so you could open up you know 10 boxes and you could get tokens every single time potentially and then you can also get on top of those tokens every single time you can maybe get an additional chance at a ticket so you can get one ticket you can get two tickets and you can get three tickets from brawl boxes so that's pretty cool you're not getting just a ticket as an item you're getting something else and a ticket so what do you all think of the new user interface? Personally, I like it a lot more than the old one. I also really like the new changes to the game rooms. I think that's gonna be more enjoyable, easier to find game rooms. So that's pretty much it for today's video. But tomorrow, I'm gonna go over all the different star powers. I'm gonna show you gameplay of each star power. I'm gonna try and rank each star power, I think. And I'm gonna tell you which ones the best are, which ones you should be focusing on, all about that. All right, so come back tomorrow for that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you later.